thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We honor you. We magnify you. We glorify you. Lord, you said if you be nothing to draw all men unto yourself. Lord, have your way tonight, Lord. Lord, I thank you that your presence is here. Lord, we're not asking that you uh, invade us. We brought you with us tonight, Lord. Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord, that uh, as the word go forth, it'll go forth with power, anointing, God, healing, miracles, signs, wonders, Lord. Lord, we thank you as we enter into worship, Lord, God, that uh, you sit into your gates of thanksgiving and enter into your courts with praise. And we thank you tonight, Lord. We honor you, magnify you, glorify you. You alone are worthy tonight, Lord. Stay at home, come out tonight, because the power of God is in this place. The Bible says everywhere Jesus went, he made sure everybody was literally healed. So um, come out tonight and join us. We are at the Romada Hotel tonight, um, 324 Isha Avenue, Fresno, California. You can't miss it. It's a great, uh, great auditorium here. Uh, the services continue on again, continues again tomorrow at 7 p.m. and also on Thursday at 7 p.m. Then on Saturday, the 4th of December, uh, we will be having another breakthrough miracle crusade in Los Angeles, California. We will be at the Romada LX Stadium. Uh, it's 5250 West S. Edmundo Boulevard in Houghton. You can't miss it, just so close to the airport. And that will be Saturday, sun, Sunday and Monday at 7 p.m. I'm telling you, it's happening right now. Get on the phone and call your friends. Call your next door neighbor. Call your pastors. Invite them to this uh, great service. This service is, is going to usher all of us into the new year 2022 and we're going to walk into this new year in a high dimension god bless you looking forward i want you to sow your seed tonight uh, those who are watching that now around the world we have partners from all over the world from nigeria from south africa from uh, uh from mexico people are watching right now around the world from australia uh from japan all over the world are watching right now as the telecast is turned on. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can just type in there Dr. Solomon Ackerman or Miracle Christian Fellowship Church. Our YouTube channel is on the air. Subscribe to it right now. God bless you. As we invite uh, the woman of God, prophetess, 
they believe who is going to usher us into a high place of worship. Let us all put our hands together as we welcome this great woman of God tonight, very anointed prophetess Debbie Lynn. We're here to honor you, Lord, and to worship you. Thank you. Is this too loud? Is this uh, not loud or loud? It's okay. <laughs>
facing the city buildings, skyscraper sized city buildings. And as he was lifting his feet toward the city buildings, it was causing a tsunami wave toward the city buildings, crashing into the city buildings all over the land. And he said to me in 2010, this is going to be my visitation that's coming in the earth. And in 2011, he showed me just his neck down and he was dressed in glory white. And this is what he showed me. He says, I'm bringing back the holy fear of my glory and the holy fear of the Lord back into my church body and to yes. my people. Yes. And this last year, he shows me many things as he shows you, a family of God. But this one last one he showed me several months ago while in a time of prayer with my family. And Jesus was standing tall and he was walking through a river of blood of aborted babies. And he was holding aborted babies in his hands that were broken bodies in his hands. And he was weeping. This is the truth, family of God. He was weeping. He was weeping. And all of a sudden it showed like a, a vacuum of glory coming out of heaven and taking and sucking all those babies up into the very glory room and presence of Father God. And as they were being transported and vacuumed into the very presence of his holy throne, they were being healed and restored and made whole. And as Jesus was walking on... He was walking, and there were churches. This is the truth, family of God. He wrote this to me in my journals in the 90s when I was in a time of prayer and fasting. In the 90s, he had spoken to me in my journals, and he said, I'm, doing, bringing, I'm going to bring a great, great shaking in America and in the nations all around. He also said to me in those times of the 90s, he said, there is going to be some that he will remove lampstands from. And that in some church houses he will write Ichabod on. That means the glory of God has departed because the glory of God was never invited, never welcomed in some church houses. Well, on this vision, to finish it up, and not to take up your time, Pastor Solomon. But he was weeping. Jesus was weeping. And it showed him going to different churches, and he was knocking on the door, and he was, he was just peeking in. And it was completely dark inside. And he wrote Ichabod on it. This is not for every church house, but for some of the church houses. And he said, because I've never been invited, I've never been welcomed, because man is be, my, he's, he's, he's ministering under his ministry machine. He's the CEO of his own business. He's made church a business instead of inviting the very presence and glory of God. And in this day and age we're living in, he's not going to allow it anymore because he loves us and he wants souls saved. Souls are in the balance. Right. Souls are waiting in the balance and in the great divide. And so as he walked on in this vision, Jesus walked on and off to, off ahead of him were dark prince, black principalities riding on black horses throughout the land. And this is everything right now that's going on in the earth, in the nations, in America right now. All of these principalities bringing darkness, bringing chaos, and bringing havoc. And off to the right, it showed a remnant of God's people dressed in glory white and fire. The fire of God was just burning, consuming all over them. And he said, these are the ones that have actually been, they've been preparing themselves. They've been, they've been getting eye cell from heaven and revelations to heal their eyes and making their garments white and preparing themselves in his fire, through the fires they've been walking through. And these are the ones, the glorious ones that he's going to be using in this hour like never before. And they're, they're going to be unstoppable, unmovable, unbreakable, and unshakable, even in the midst of great darkness and great persecution that is coming in the earth. Their life is going to be dead and laid out and already died to the, to the cross of Jesus Christ. But the resurrection glory power of his Holy Spirit is rising up in his church. And there are some churches, family of God, as we see and know. Yes, coronavirus may be the title and the name that caused it maybe was some. And those were the excuses. But the Lord said he had already been allowing this and planning it for a time and season to come. There are some churches will never open again. And there's churches that he's setting on fire. Many churches. 
and the family of God, and he's raising up tents, and he's raising up the firebrands, and he's raising up those with the sword of the spirit, and that's why he's saying there's not going to be any more pimping in the pulpit, spiritual prostitution, and taking of the gifts of God, and pocketing the money, and building these golden calf cows that are moving to the sound of a false, strange fire. Thank you, Jesus. And God says that, he says that weeping, he says that with a broken heart, it's never God's heart and desire. And right now, yes, right now, it, God's, he's allowing the justice of God to go through the earth. And I'm telling you, it's the judgment of God. But judgment brings justness, and it brings order, and it brings holiness, and it brings the church out of the caves and out of the grave and into the holy fire of God like never before. And there's going to be supernatural signs and wonders that have not ever yet been done in this earth and through the people of God, the remnant. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We worship you. I'm just going to just end in real quick with Lord, we hunger for you, God. That you would take everything, leave no, help us leave no stone unturned in our heart, in our life, in our mind. Let us be prayer warriors, not prayer warriors, God. And let us pray unceasingly, God. Let us hunger for you and increase the hunger, God. Increase the hunger. For we are in the times of great deception. Great great deception that is even deceiving the people of God. And so Lord, we thank you, God, that we would know and hear your voice and the truth of your word, and that we will burn with a holy hunger and fire to the Amen. hunger of your word, for the hunger of your word, Lord, as never before we worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for holy angels that walk among us tonight. That you have your way, Lord.
because of your humble heart and because you have blessed the people of God. The Lord says a time is coming in your life. It won't be at all a strain to even ask people to sow into the kingdom of God. For you understand the kingdom of God and how it works and the principles to build the kingdom of God and for souls and for salvation. And the Lord says, because you've kept your heart pure and right and you've been a good steward of what he's given you, that he says the time is coming to enlarge the place of your tent. And those that are going to sow and give into your ministry, they're going to do it with great, great joy. Come on, come on, come on. From all over the building. 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 From all over the building.